Hey everyone, Liz from Learn Robotics here. I'm just going to do a quick code walkthrough. If you're following along with the tutorial, you're making the animated skull for Halloween. So the goal is to walk up to this skull and then have it start moving, rotating, the eyes will glow, and hopefully it'll startle whoever is in its path. So this is the code that we're going to be using for the project. Feel free to make yours more sophisticated, add in different features. This is just a starter template to get you going and to get your device working. So let's just go right through it and if you have any questions feel free to find me on Facebook. I'm most active on our page. It's at Learn Robotics and hopefully you enjoy this uh, tutorial. So we're going to start off by declaring some global variables We've got our, our LEDs, which will be the glowing eyes. So you can either control them on the same pin, so you have a set of eyes that run with the same pattern, or you can control them separately. Um, in this code, I have them defined as the left LED is on 11, the right LED is on 10. Uh, feel free to put them all in the same channel, and then you only have to control that one pin. The brightness is how bright the LED is, and then the fade amount is how many points to fade the LED by, and this is just to create that glowing eye effect. We'll also need to include the uh, servo package, just because we're gonna wanna be able to access the features of the servo and control the servo when the uh, ultrasonic sensor is tripped, we wanna be able to rotate that uh, to make the skull move. So we've got our servo on pin three. Make sure you choose an open digital PWM pin because that's gonna be important to be able to make the servo move. We're gonna set this position at zero and this is essentially um, just to keep track of our current position and then we're gonna have a target position and that's just gonna be what angle do we want the uh, head to move to and then we'll have a reset. The next section, we're gonna be configuring the ultrasonic sensor, and essentially we're gonna be using a four pin HC SRO4 uh, ultrasonic sensor. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a walkthrough of how to set up the ping sensor, and that's if you have the three pin ultrasonic sensor. We'll go through that in a little bit. But for now, if you're using the four pin, you'll set the trig to five, and the echo will be on pin four. The distance threshold is how far away you want an object to be before it trips the sensor. And then you can create a lower limit distance and then an upper limit distance. And then these will just be your, your thresholds and you will measure against those. Pretty typical, you're gonna define your globals and then you'll go ahead and you'll initialize whatever needs to be initialized. So we've got our LEDs and then the echo and the trig. We'll set that using pin mode. If you'd like to initialize the position of the servo, you're gonna to wanna to do that here. You can just write it a value in degrees and it'll move to that position upon startup. Now we're gonna get into some custom methods. We've got ourselves an LED control method. This just fades the LED and creates that glowing effect. We're gonna use the sweep method, which is a servo method as part of the example. So you can just go ahead and copy that over. This just allows us to make a nice sweeping motion with the head. Uh, once the uh, ultrasonic sensor has been tripped. Now we're going to create this method called read ultrasonic. Essentially what it does is it takes in the pin of the trig, pin of the echo, and then do you want to print out some information about distance? Uh, typically you'll set this true while you're debugging your system and then you'll set it false once you're ready to go. And this will just provide you some information. I've got a distance calculation in centimeters and a distance calculation in inches. So depending on how you want to measure this, you can, you can create your logic based on the correct units. And this is just example code that they give you with the uh, ultrasonic sensor on how to use it. And it's basically just sending out a sound wave and then receiving that sound wave back in, calculating the time that it takes using the speed of sound and then converting that to either centimeters or inches. The check distance method just checks to see whether or not motion has been detected. If yes, we're gonna turn on the LEDs and start glowing the eyes and we're gonna rotate the skull head and using the servo. And then otherwise, if nothing's detected, we don't wanna do anything. We wanna make sure everything is off. Maybe in the future you could add in like a speaker and just play just some creepy music in the background. Your choice is really completely up to you. 
And then loop is where we're going to call our check distance, give it the trig pin, give it the echo pin, and then that's it. It's going to run this code forever and ever until you either run out of power or you shut it off or you tell it to break. Powering the system, it's pretty simple. You can run it off of the Arduino. If you find that you're using that five gram servo and your power supply seems to be okay, the motion isn't jagged, it's pretty smooth. All you need to do is just run everything off of a USB cable. Um, you can just take like your iPhone, USB power plug, plug the USB cable into the Arduino and then into the wall and you should be good to power this whole system. You can leave it plugged in and then as trick-or-treaters come to your door, they will trip the sensor and then the head will start moving and maybe you'll get a couple of scares. So this is the first part of the uh, code walkthrough. Now I'm gonna go and move over to using the ping sensor. So if you're using the three pin ultrasonic sensor, this is what you'll want to do. It's very similar. You're just gonna be measuring distances a little bit differently. If you want more information about Arduino or if you're still a little bit confused or you want some help or you want something more official, more formal, I'm running a special today on my online course called Arduino Prototyping for Beginners. It's designed to take somebody that has zero experience, bring them up to 80% of what you need to know to be successful with Arduino prototyping, including circuits, programming, and eventually robotics. So if you're interested in that, I'm gonna be posting some links around this video. Go ahead and check that out. If you have any questions at all, find me on the Facebook page. It's at Learn Robotics, and I will see you guys in the next video. All right, so now what we're gonna talk about is creating your animated skull using the ping sensor. So rather than using the four pin ultrasonic sensor, you're gonna use the three pin ultrasonic sensor. So essentially this code is going to be the exact same as the previous code that we looked at. You're going to set up your LEDs, you're going to set up your servo, you're going to set up the ultrasonic sensor, but rather than having two different signal pins that you're going to be checking, you're going to just check one. And essentially what we'll do is we're going to detect the distance from the ping sensor based on the signals that we receive, and then we'll convert that into a distance measurement. And in this case, I've chosen to represent that in inches. And so this is pretty much the only difference is how we detect the distance and whether or not that distance has been tripped. But other than that, you'll be able to take that distance and then create your thresholds. You can create globals for these lower limits and upper limits if you'd like, similar to, similarly to how we did it in the previous iteration of this code. Or you can just use it inside of loop. You don't have to create a separate method and just compare what you're reading. And then if, if the reading is within your tolerance, you're gonna either start moving or you're going to make sure everything is stationary. And that's pretty much all it needs to be for this version of the code. If you have any questions at all, I really hope you enjoyed this project. For me, it was a lot of fun because it takes a holiday, combines it with a little bit of programming and electronics, and you can really get a good feel for how to create these different devices. And that's pretty much it. It's, it's a fairly straightforward tutorial. Essentially, we've mapped out in English, if you've read this, the tutorial thus far, we've started out with defining what we want to do, providing some functionality, giving some requirements, and then translating those requirements into code. And once you get the hang of that thought process and that order of operations, it becomes second nature to you. You'll be able to think through these projects on the fly and then just start translating them into Arduino code or whatever language you're using to solve the problem. If you have any questions at all, find me on the Facebook page. It's at Learn Robotics, and I will see you guys in the next video.